so you got your start in music videos. Yeah. Um, and you, the story goes that you wrote a concert video for a group in Canada, and the directors in Canada, the people you was working with, they couldn't bring your vision to fruition. Yeah. So what 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 happened was when um when after we worked on Juice um my thirty in college, I had mm -hmm. shot a short film and I was like studying theater. Thought I was going to be an actor first, and then like Ron Howard turned into a director after my acting okay. career. Okay. And then, um, you know, a stint of playing like, you know, drug dealer one, rapist <laughs> two, you know. And, and right, you was on like Law and Order. And yeah, yeah, and a bunch of stuff like that. And it was always a, a similar thing, right? right? And then you get there and they wanted like, you know, Scarface was so popular, they wanted the Scarface accent. And I was like, yeah, but I don't talk like that. <laughs> right, like, I'm not Cuban. And, and I was like, he's not Hispanic. Right, so even not, he's I'm Italian. Saying, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit like, I'm not sure if I know a lot of right. people that sound like that. Right, you just so, got to do an Al Pacino impersonation. Exactly. So at some point, you know, we got, I, um, me and my brother got offered an internship on a film called I Like It Like That. So mm -hmm. we started working on that internship. With Darnell Martin. With Darnell Martin. So I worked with the producers on learning how to put a movie together. And with Ann Carly and this guy named Victor De Jesus. And my brother worked in casting. Right. So when he started working in casting, he saw that there was like at that time, there weren't a lot of African-Americans in the Screen Actors Guild. There wasn't barely any Hispanics. So that's what kind of led him to start a company to try to open the doors for a lot of kids that were trying to do their thing. And for me, you know, the music videos thing started to happen. So both me and my brother shifted into music videos right after. Mm -hmm. And that was partially because the Juice Tretch started, Naughty by Nature started becoming right. popular. We started going on sets with a lot of the talent we were meeting mm -hmm. and the hip hop was growing. I found out that a lot of uh, directors didn't write their own concepts. Right. So I started writing concepts. So the first concept I wrote was Money, Power, Respect. Okay. Oh, wow. For for, for the, Exactly. Right. And then I started, you know, the production company started saying, oh, this kid has cool ideas. So I started writing a bunch of ideas. And that led to this group in Canada called Ghetto Concept reaching out to me and saying, hey, can you write us a concept? So I wrote an idea, sent it to them. <laughs> Ghetto concept said, we need exactly, a concept. Yeah. <laughs> we don't got any concepts. And, 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 and this, <laughs> exactly. And this, and this was at a time where, you know, Toronto wasn't where it's at now musically. Right, right. And there was a lot of young black artists going, you know, emulating what was happening with like Mob Deep or Wu-Tang mm -hmm. and things like that. And they weren't ready for that. So they wanted a concept that was very like Wu-Tang-esque. So right. I wrote an idea that was like that mm -hmm. and nobody got it because it felt mm -hmm. like too rebellious for right, the streets right, of Canada. Right. So they were like, you know, Jesse, you should come up and direct it. And okay. that was ended up being my first music video and they got nominated at Much Music for Rap Video of the Year. Shot it for 10 grand and, you know, changed my life. Rest wow. is history. Now, you are from the same area as 50. Yeah, yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. how y'all linked up? Being from the same, you part know of what, the world? sort of, and, and, and um, it's not how we linked up, but it's how I knew who he was. Right, you right? knew the, you knew what was going on Fifty Cent before the industry did. Yeah, because you know, growing up in that neighborhood, you know, I used to see LL Cool J walk through the Coliseum with no shirt on. I'm like, who the fuck is this dude? With the fucking <laughs> right. chain on. Right. And then, um, you know, Onyx were barbers in my neighborhood. Right, right. So we met, we met Onyx. They had the wild dreads. Or uh, did Sticky did? Yeah, Sticky yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, we I met them through Shot Skills because like we used to play football against other neighborhoods and, and we played with him and then he introduced us to Onyx. Then um, Irv used to be with Mike Geronimo and we used to see like, so everybody was kind of like running in the similar circles, right, you know? Right. And then uh, we were in a, in a scenario where, um, you know, his first, 50s first songs was with Onyx, right? When they did that video, that little X. Jam Master J was the connection. When they were all signed right. to Jam J. So I was tracking 50 the whole time because he was doing songs in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all this stuff happened when he got shot and all this right. stuff. And then when he reemerged, I was already doing videos. Mm -hmm. So I was doing a lot of videos with Interscope. So I was, remember I was doing like Styles P or one of these right, records. Good times. And uh, I found out that M signed him. So I called DJ at Interscope and I was like, yo, I want to do 50s from my neighborhood. I want to do that project. And it was like, oh, that project's not up for a while. But I was right. like, I want to do it. And Wankster was already out. So you've seen Wankster, it. Wankster was like a mixtape record. It was already out, you know, it was yeah. buzzing. So then, um, so th you know, I got the opportunity. And at that time, I've already had graduated to do bigger videos, budgetarily. Right. Right. But I wanted to do 50. So, and a lot of the bigger directors weren't chasing it because the budget was low. Right. So I was like, I'm jumping on this because I believe in it from my neighborhood. And, and you know, the rest is history. We we created a good chemistry and we just started rocking from that point. Yeah, 50 videos, G-Unit videos, the whole family. You yeah, became yeah, yeah. part of the family, mm -hmm. essentially. Trust me, to the point where I used to go to clubs and people used to run up on me like, yeah, oh, you G-Unit? I was like, 
You know, yeah. people ain't running up on Dave Myers because he working with Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard because they asking you want to say, yeah, I guess I am G Unit because we doing so much work. But you know, me and Fifty built a great relationship. You know. What is it about that part of the world that make people hustle so hard? I mean, besides it being hood, because it's hoods all over the world, you know, but there's a lot of superstars that come from that area. You know, I think that uh, in New York, just in general, we're like on top of each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know, I've been living in LA for a long time. Everything's spread out. Mm-hmm. I don't even see people in my neighborhood if I don't want right. to. Right. You know what I'm saying? In New York, you can't avoid it. You know what I mean? Right. No matter what level of class you are financially, you're going to ride the train, you're going to walk down the street, you're going to have to interact and mm-hmm. bump into people. So the competition's right on top of you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to fight harder. You know what I mean? It's like right. when you come out, when you're right. acting or in the film business in New York, it's like, 10 things going on. Right. In LA, there's 2,000. So people are more laid back here. Like there, there's there's not that much opportunity. You got to fight for it. So it creates a level of ambition and, and hunger that, you know, creates like these type of, you know, and you, you can even see it in music. Like, you know, people are, people will argue, but the art of the rappers in New York were always stronger because mm-hmm. the they were battling and it was like in your face and you had to be incredible to pop out of there, you know? Right. Get it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow, go with it.